Hey guys, these MK, MP5Ks are becoming more common. Really cool looking gel ball blaster. I've shown you some other designs. This one's from Shell Throw, S-E-H-E-L-L space T-H-R-O-W. Shell Throw's on Amazon. And this is one of their MP5K designs that we're gonna take a look at. All right, I definitely like these. I've had good luck with these and this new style magazine that these have but let's go over it. All right, so you got your safety glasses, of course, right? So wear some sort of eye protection. Put that over to the side. They do give you a couple of these darts. You see that with uh, some of their other blasters too, uh, from this brand in particular. You can manually front load a soft you know, foam dart and then just use the charging handle to shoot them kind of in that manual single shot mode. I don't touch a lot on that, but that does come with, that is a feature with these, okay? Lots of accessories with this one. Um, one pack of gel balls to start with. So remember when you're soaking those guys, four to six hours, plenty of water, large enough container, and then drain off any excess water and they're good to go. Okay, make sure you're soaking them properly. They need to get seven to eight millimeters for them to work and make sure you're storing them in an airtight container and never store them in the magazine itself. Okay, make sure you get them all out of there so that it continues to function properly. Since we're talking about that, it comes with a little speed loader tip. If you have separate little grenade, grenade style hoppers, this can go right on there, or there's little plastic containers this can go on that allows you to speed load them or load them into your magazine faster. I already kind of loaded this one up. You can see the little door to load is right here. Oh, I'm dropping them all over now. And you just kind of open that door, load them up, close it. This also does come with this little piece right here, which is kind of your magazine speed grab. I guess I don't know the technical term for it, but that's what that's supposed to be for. And it, you know, in this case, it's primarily for cosmetics, right? Okay, we've got a couple different accessories here. We got an optic for the front. That just turns like that to turn it on. A little flashlight here, of course. So that can go on the side if you want it. And then a front little grip if you want to use it that just tightens on. Battery, 500 ma, 7.4 volt. Here's your USB charger. Plug it into any AC adapter, one amp or greater. Red light when it's charging. Turns off when it's charged. Always just charge it right away when you get it little lanyard as well and the blaster itself what I really like about these are the folding stock that's very cool and we haven't seen that a lot until this blaster came out so we're gonna load the battery in battery goes right in here it's best to put the battery in first and then connect it and then just kind of tuck this harness down underneath it so that's what I have found is the best way to do this one. And you can see it is a tight little compartment, but there's room. And the more you use it, the easier it's going to go in and out of there. So to put the stock on, there's this pin right here. So this pin you need to pop out. And you can sometimes do it with your fingers. Sometimes you may need to um, use a needle nose plier or even just a, a screwdriver to push that pin right out. Okay. This is going to line up here. These black pieces line up with these grooves. Push that on. And then we're just going to put the pin in. The pin should just push right through. And you feel it click in. It's clicked in over here. It's not going anywhere. So now you got your button released right here. You flip it over. And there's a little tab that it catches on right there. So if you got it flipped. And then to just put it back, you're just going to pop it up. It's going to click back in. Okay, it's very easy to use. Keep it on the screen, put it like this. Your magazine, which I said I already loaded some gel balls in there. I'm gonna put it in here, here's your magazine well, and here's your magazine release, okay? Also, here's your manual and automatic selection. So let's go ahead and before we put the magazine on, I'm gonna put it on. Okay, it's shooting well. If we do flip it all the way down, Sorry about that quick cut in the video. So if we put it down, you can go ahead and put it in manual, and that allows you to just use the charging handle, 
and shoot it single shot. This is also when you could front load one of the foam darts if you wanted to. Okay, so when we talk about the magazine, I've shown you this with other magazines now. I've not needed to do this with this one, but um, apparently other people have had issues. So prime the magazine. So any of these magazines now, if they do not have motors in them that are, you know, motorized um, electric, then go ahead and prime them. And by doing so, I mean, just take this little clip button right here, just clip it until one can pop out like that so that they're balls are up and ready at, to feed and they'll continue to feed good. So you're just going to line that up. Once you got that lined up, push it in. And of course to release it, that just pushes forward and you pull the magazine out. Okay, so that's good. We're ready to go with that. If you choose to put the flash hider slash mock suppressor on, go ahead, just push it on. Just going to stay on like that. Your sight, again, say turn it off and on. You've got, it's just gonna be rail mounted and it tightens down, you can see. So we put that up top here. And just tighten it down when you're ready, where you found it. Okay, got that tight on there. If you wanna go ahead and use your front grip again, just take this, loosen it. Guess I had that a little tighter than I thought. There we go. Same, same thing with the flashlight. So you can just slide it on the rail and then use these two screws to tighten it down where you want it located. So it can slide on right here. Because of the charging handle, it makes more sense to probably slide it on the other side. Uh, but of course, do whatever you like best when it comes to those accessories. If you want to put them all on, if you don't, if you want the fake suppressor or not, you know, that just pulls off and on. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna shoot it. We're gonna test the FPS on it, see where it comes out, and uh, just test how it shoots in general. Like I said, I, this new magazine on these has worked well for me with the other brands, so I anticipate we're gonna see some good consistency here as well. So again, it's from Shell Throw, S-H-E-L-L -L space T-H-R-O-W. Look for Shell Throw on Amazon. They have several other models, they have more coming. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please uh, participate in the free giveaways. I love giving away the blasters, and thanks for the support.